Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making the front end for our uh, random weight stage. So uh, in this video, we're only going to be talking about DEC and how to do how to build a plugin uh, for DEC. So uh, we have an example repo here, and we're inside of our simple DEC package. Uh, the package name may be a little bit different uh, in the different videos, but that's okay. Um, the important things uh, we're going to take a look at here, uh, the first thing um, is we're going to take a look at our rollup config. So what rollup is, rollup is a way for us to be able to build our, our JavaScript application. Uh, the one thing I want to note about it is the Spinnaker shared libraries uh, function. So Spinnaker itself actually exposes out Lodash, React, React DOM, and Spinnaker core. Um, this way, the plugin that you create actually uses those versions that Spinnaker has of those libraries. Uh, this way, we don't get any version mismatch between what our plugin expects and what Spinnaker expects. So that's pretty cool. So we use utilize that in the external global section of our rollup config. Um, also, this project is using TypeScript, so we also have TypeScript in there. Now, there's nothing else uh, special or fancy about this. So we can close out of this and take a look at our package.json. So if you are familiar with creating JavaScript applications, none of this should be, um, should be new to you. Um, it's all pretty, pretty uh, simplistic. Um, the main things to note are the dependencies that we have, uh, Spinnaker Core, React, and React DOM. Awesome. Um, so next thing that we can do is actually start to look at what our plugin code looks like for our stage. So if I look here, here is the code for our custom stage. Uh, as you can see, only 34 lines of, of code. It's very, very uh, basic, very, very easy. We're not doing very much in this, in this stage. So this is the random weight example. Um, so uh, what this stage does is it waits anywhere from zero to the number of seconds you put in in the UI uh, and waits you know, randomly between those two, two values. So let's dive into our, our actual JavaScript code here, or TypeScript code technically. Um, so the first thing that we have is an interface called iStageTypeConfig. And we have uh, four things in, inside of there, label, description, key, and component. Oh, and we have our key is spelled incorrectly. Awesome. Random weight. Cool. Um, so these are the four things that we need to have uh, to make a stage work. So label is what it looks like inside of the UI, a description, um, a one sentence description of what the, the stage actually does. This also gets shown in the UI. The key the key, this is what uh, is tied to the Orca backend piece. And then the component is, in our case, random weight stage, which is this function right here. So uh, there are other options that you can have for the iStage type config. If you look at the source code behind it, there's a ton of other options. Uh, one of them is being able to specify what cloud provider uh, the stage is for. So there's some really cool things that you can do um, on the back end. Or, uh, there's so many cool things you can do um, with the iStage type config. But one thing to note is we really want people to use components. So components means a React component. There is a way to uh, create Angular stages, but that method, we don't recommend going down that path. Uh, Spinnaker is getting rid of the Angular code that is in there right now. Um, it's obviously not fully gotten rid of just yet, but um, we prefer people to use React going forward. So um, this is uh, the way we, we would like for you to build a plugin as well. So, all right, cool. We got that out of the way. The next thing that we have up is our set max wait time function. It takes in the event and some React props. If you're not familiar with React, highly suggest uh, looking at the React tutorial before you take a deep dive into creating uh, the front-end plugin, uh, make your life a little bit easier. Um, the important thing out of this, uh, this function is this line right here, line 14, props.updateStageField. So this is how we tell 
the Orca piece, what we need, or what information to, to pass to Orca. So we're going to say the, the max wait time is what the user inputs in the, in the input box that's going to be rendered uh, later on. So if there's other items that need to be passed in, you can set them here as well. Okay, cool. So the next thing that we have is our actual components. And uh, this React component is just a function because we don't really have much uh, state or anything with it. Um, and it just returns JSX uh, that will just say Brandon's time to wait. And then um, we'll uh, have a text input box um, for you to put in uh, your number. There, now, there is no validation on this. Um, when you're writing these, obviously, we expect you to have some validation. But uh, as a simple example, you, you don't really need it. Um, so yeah, that is the that is honestly it for the, the, the actual custom stage. It's pretty straightforward. There's, there's not much going on here. So now, the next thing that we have is the actual plugin configuration. We have a name. So we're going to call this a random weight. And we're going to pass in a, uh, a list of stages. So for example, if your plugin wanted to have multiple stages, you could define those here, just add a comma, then add another one after custom stage. And obviously, this lines up to this up here. And then the last thing that we need to do is export our plugin. And honestly, that is it from a code perspective. So if we save this and we do a yarn build, so Rollup ran and created our plugin. Um, now, if you're watching some of the other videos, there are other ways of building this. Um, I'm not going to go into details right now, but um, uh, for this example, we're just going to use Yarn directly to, to build our, our application. And now we're going to copy over our compiled asset over to where I have deck at. So now you might be asking yourself, how does deck know that uh, we have a plugin? So if we go over to a, a file called plugin-manifest.json, um, this is what tells DEC where our plugins are at. So I currently have DEC just running locally to make things easier. You can upload your compiled asset to S3, GCS, um, some random web server that you might have. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the only thing that does matter is making sure that cores is enabled, so uh, we don't get any cores errors of deck trying to, uh, the user's browser trying to reach out and grab the, the file. So if we have other front-end plugins defined, we can just add another object similar to this one, uh, but the URL for where we have it, I just have it locally inside of deck under a plugins directory I created, super, super easy, super basic. Um, and so now if we go over to, um, to deck, if we refresh the page here, and we're going to go to configure my awesome pipeline, and I'm going to delete this stage because we had a typo that we just fixed. And we're going to go to add stage, and we're going to look for random weight. And then, as you can see, we have the random weight configuration. And I can go ahead and hit save. And if I edit the stage as JSON, I can now see that the max wait time has been updated to five. And that is it for creating your own custom stage in, inside of DAC. Pretty simple. Um, thank you all for joining me today. Thanks very much.